Howdy folks, Sergeant Hans Wagner, Company A, 82nd Illinois Volunteer Infantry here. We're going to talk about some of the handheld weapons that the officers and in some cases the senior NCOs were issued during the Civil War. This is a 44 caliber Colt Army Revolver that fires either a conical bullet like that or a 44 caliber ball like that. Now in both cases you would load the cylinder from the front of the cylinder you would take 28 grains of black powder drop it down in the cylinder take the ball if you're using a ball seat it in front drive it home with the loading lever that would force the ball down on top of the black powder you had to make a good connection there. In some cases, they were lucky enough they'd be issued pre-assembled rounds like this in a pack, which is what they look like individually. And of course, you'd get six of these in a pack since it's a six shot. Now these you'd simply drop down the front of the cylinder and you'd use the loading lever again to drive it home and make a firm connection between the powder and the ball. Now the paper on these cartridges is actually flammable. So when the percussion cap that you would use to ignite the paper was struck, the paper is flammable and it would ignite and it would ignite the powder and it would shoot the projectile down the barrel. Now you couldn't really load these in combat, it's just too difficult, but officers, senior NCOs, uh, cavalry, uh, artillerymen would be issued a loader for the percussion caps. You can see they're quite small and difficult to handle in combat. That is the percussion cap and you would need that just as you did for the rifle. You would need one to ignite the powder inside the cylinder. So if they were lucky enough, they could either buy these from a settler or they would be issued a loader like this. They'd simply dispense one cap at a time, rotate the cylinder, put another cap on, rotate the cylinder, put another cap on. They'd also receive a cartridge box where they would carry 20 cartridges, either loose or in the pack that you see right there. They'd also receive a holster which is worn butt forward and there's a reason for that this is an 8 inch barrel and when you try to retrieve a weapon from a holster with an 8 inch barrel and you're wearing it here you can't get it high enough to clear the holster so you'll see officers and NCOs wearing it reverse butt side forward so they could pull it out without difficulty and fire the weapon There were also handheld weapons, revolvers from the company Remington Arms that you could change the cylinders on in combat. Very rare. There weren't a lot of them out there. There were more Colts out there. And in many cases, the officers and the NCOs and the artillerymen, the cavalry in particular, would use the weapon. But officers who were issued these in infantry units often were spending their time directing the men during combat as were the senior NCOs. So they didn't spend a lot of time shooting that weapon. They would actually hold it in reserve in the event that someone around them had run out of ammunition. They would, at that point, use their weapon to cover those individuals until that man could reload his rifle. But folks, as I said before, given a choice between a weapon and a cup of coffee, I'll take the cup of coffee anytime. 